So thanks to Jake Gross, otherwise known as the owner of Gross Gang, otherwise known as Data Jake 1999, um, released yesterday an NVDA add-on, which is the Deck Talk 4.6 speech synthesizer with the NWS um, dictionary, and it actually sounds pretty realistic and rather frightening if you get the right alert. The National Weather Service in Charleston has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Barber County in West Virginia. This includes the cities of Philippi, Audra State Park, yeah, Northeastern Franklin County in West Virginia, Northeastern Calhoun County in West Virginia, Doddridge County in West Virginia, Gilmer County in West Virginia. This includes the city of Glenville, Harrison County in West Virginia. This includes the city of Clarksburg, Lewis County in West Virginia. This includes the city of Weston, Northeastern Pocahontas County in West Virginia, Randolph County in West Virginia. This includes the city of Elkins, Ritchie County in West Virginia. This includes the city of Harrisville, Taylor County in West Virginia. This includes the city of Grafton, Tyler County in West Virginia, Upshur County in West Virginia. This includes the city of Buchanan, Northeastern Webster County in West Virginia, East Central Ward County in West Virginia, until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 6.54 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a line of severe thunderstorms capable of producing quarter-size hail and destructive winds in excess of 80 miles an hour. These storms were located along a line extending from 17 miles north of West Union to Pennsboro to 16 miles southwest of Harrisville, or along a line extending from 12 miles east of Middleburn to 8 miles east of Harrisville to 8 miles northwest of Grantsville, and moving southeast at 85 miles an hour. Other locations in the warning include but are not limited to Salem, Cedar Creek State Park, Lumberport, Shinston, Enterprise, Jackson Mill, Nutterford, Stonewood, and Moore, Bridgeport, Stonewall Jackson Lake State Park, Rock Cave, Holly River State Park, Belton, Daly and Mill Creek. This will impact the following interstate, I-79 between mile markers 74 and 129. Precautionary preparedness actions, this is a dangerous storm. If you are in its path, prepare immediately for destructive winds and damaging hail. People outside should move to a shelter, preferably inside a strong building but away from windows. In addition to large hail and damaging winds, continuous cloud to ground lightning is occurring with this storm. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's number one killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. This storm has a history of producing widespread wind damage. This is an extremely dangerous situation. Seek shelter now inside the sturdy structure and stay away from windows. Very heavy rain will also fall from this line of severe thunderstorms, and will cause water to pond on roads and quickly fill roadside ditches and small streams. Please report hail or strong winds to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 877-633-6772. Dot when you can do so safely. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Friday evening for Central Kentucky and Southeast Ohio and Central West Virginia. A severe thunderstorm watch also remains in effect until 1 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Saturday morning for Central Kentucky and Central West Virginia. Latitude, longitude 3880. That is terrifying. And this is from the June 29th, 2012 direct show. And um, this was in my state. I wouldn't have been able to catch the alert for multiple reasons. Number one, I wasn't an EAS geek at the time. Number two, I didn't know what the internet was. Number three, our power was out. And number four, this was too far north. I think that is the most destructive alert that's ever been issued in West Virginia that wasn't a flash flood emergency. I mean, it's an EDS SVR. That is insane. And this sounds really creepily accurate. RLX, if you mind, I was born after Old Donna and Craig were introduced and after they'd been superseded by Tom and the newer version of Donna. So I mostly remember Donna did our station IDs and um, observations, Tom did everything else, and the only thing we ever used Deck Talk Paul for, other than technical difficulty days, was at the beginning of all he would say, please stand by, an important message will follow. This is a special message and drummed in the normal broadcast. However, if you know a thing or two, you'll realize that, that was not Paul. That was actually the huge hairy voice. Which actually sounds a little more accurate to me than Paul does. But regardless, I can pop into NVDA settings. NVDA preference settings. S. NVDA settings. Speech prompt. Shame. Voice. Beautiful. Perfect Paul. Great. 
Slider 34 Altar. Morris. Beautiful Betty. Hugh Cherry. Fro Frank. Dr. Dennis. Kid Kid. Muppet Yersley. Raph Rita. Western Wendy. Perfect Paul. So let's see how Paul would read this. EDS SVR. National. National Web 658P blank. I miss whenever it would do this includes the city of X because if you're a traveler in the area you might not know like you might not say oh I'm in Charleston I don't know what county it's in Kanawha County what is that this includes city of Charleston oh I'm fucked National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a line of severe thunderstorms capable of producing quarter size hail and destructive winds in excess of 80 miles an hour. But all we ever used uh, the deck talk voice for was saying, please stand by. An important, well. Document, call a poker roll, document, word pad, pad window. Speech mode off. Settings, general normal configuration dialog, Braille property page, Braille output table, Braille just added red own categories, with speed, speed check for grade 33, voice, it, huge grade, slider 33 of 34, document word pad. So here is all we ever had him say. Please stand by, an important message will follow. I made a typo. Follow with message E, important N, M. The National Weather Service in Charleston has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Lincoln County. Etc. Also, rip to the old call to action statements. But there's a reason why I'm being a little slow and awkward with using this. My screen reader of choice is not NVDA. NVDA dialog. My computer is still warming up a bit. I mean, it's a powerful system. This is my typical screen reader. Work. Just. Now I am using Real Speak Tom because I was wondering how this alert would sound with Real Speak Tom. Lisp I am eleven. Jaws home manual eleven. Mr. Navig menu. Voices. Voice enter. These are probably glitchy voice. Hey, fumble the last one. This is my typical one. Mentalized. Um, problem is this deck talk voice does not work through SAP. It's actually just an, a dedicated file with a, with a dot .nvda add-on extension. So as a result, I cannot control this through JAWS. I have to use NVDA. Which sucks, because if I could use JAWS with Deck Talk, that would be the only way I would ever want to use a computer. The National Weather Service blank. Slow, 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 slower. 600 blank. Faster. The National Weather Service in Charleston has issued a star severe thunderstorm warning for dot 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 Barbara County in West Virginia dot dot dot. This includes the cities of dot 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 Philippi dot 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 Audra State Park dot 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 Northeastern Braxton County in West Virginia. Let me get the drill. But it's honestly a really good sounding voice package. And NVDA 
I only use Jaws because um, the National Federation of the Blind, oh, their bell camps, they weren't able to run them one year, and so they had some extra grant money, and so they got a bunch of folks, some technology, and I got a laptop, which they don't use anymore, because I got this one now, but get that, and uh, several years of uh, Jaws Annual. Jaws Home Manual Options Utilities Link with Help Jaws Version 2021 12 ilm Non-Commercial Use Only Expires on May 17, 2026. So, May 17th, 2026, I will no longer have Jaws. Of course, you know, that is, you know, about three and a half years from now. And the laptop I got from the NFB was really nice, and thank you. Um, uh, Marcus, if you're still watching, number one, what is wrong with you? And number two, thank you. Um, I do still use it as my secondary machine that I use to run uh, Windows 10 software. Um, because this machine, if I run Winver, Windows R. running Windows 11 Home on here, um, this being a custom laptop with a Core i5-9400 CPU. I'd like to upgrade it to an i7-9770 at some point, but I don't have the money right now. Um, and the mechanical keyboard sounds you're hearing... Just a Logitech USB mechanical keyboard, so G513. I still haven't gotten the old computer from Miss Mills yet, so until then, all I can do with my Juliet is. But there's only, only so many times you can emboss the uh, test documents. But for being about 30 years old, this Juliet is still kicking nice and strong. Still working like a clock. But I've used NVDA for years. So I'm just using this channel one here. And NVDA does everything I need in a screen reader and more because it's a little bit more flexible than JAWS.